the Best Docs Network helps you find some of the best doctors utilizing the latest procedures and practices in healthcare. Actual patients and the doctors themselves walk you through their stories that together help you make the best decision in your search for the right doctor. On today's episode, facial plastic surgeon Dr. Yadro Ducic discusses his philosophy on practicing medicine. Vein specialist Dr. Peter Morgan talks about varicose veins. ENT Dr. C.T. Wynn treats his patients chronic sinusitis. Up first on today's show, it's craniofacial and plastic surgeon Dr. David Jenikov discusses a special technique he uses for treating patients. started with this desire to kind of house or hold all this reconstructed material for, for our patients so we only had to do the surgery once. Because you can take stem cells from fat and you can treat that fat and separate those cells out, we then are able to do that and also save those cells for future use. I was 13 when I was diagnosed with Perry Romberg syndrome and ever since then I've had little surgeries here and there. Angela has Perry Romberg syndrome, and that is called hemifacial atrophy. It usually starts in early adolescence, and then slowly over time, the tissue tends to just wither away. My first three treatments with Dr. Jenico were mainly just building it up, starting from scratch, putting tissue into my face, and then he built on from there with adding the silicone bone to my chin, adding the donor bone to the side of my face, rebuilding my eye socket, my nose. If we know we're going to operate more than once, we don't want to go back in and have to harvest all that fat every time. So now we have the ability not only to remove the fat and store that fat, but we can also take the enrichment, the stem cells and regenerative cells that exist within that fat, separate them, and then add them back to another aliquot of fat prior to the uh, reintroduction of the grafting process. He's put tissue and everything to kind of regrowth and it just makes it so that my appearance is that I'm normal on both sides. We use different kinds of things like bone grafts or we sometimes need to cut the bone and move the bone, especially the lower jaw to, for the chin. But oftentimes we need to use fat or other tissue substitutes to build it back up. And that's why we developed this. Now it has application outside in orthopedics and cosmetic surgery and ultimately cardiac surgery and just general therapeutic issues. But it was started out for patients like Angela who have severe facial asymmetries who need repetitive operations. We can take that fat, store it, and then process it in such a way that we can better enhance their reconstruction later on, then everybody's a winner. Get at least seven hours of sleep a night. It will help you live longer, lower your stress, sharpen your memory, and reduce cravings for fattening foods. For numerous years I've had varicose veins. I'm a registered nurse and so I have been on my feet for 20 years and also heredity has played into that. And so just a lot of varicosities and um, some pain, aching if I've been standing on my feet for a long period of time, and then just unsightliness. Varicose veins are a symptom. They're a sign of an underlying disease or abnormality in the venous circulation. In your legs, there is no heart to pump the used blood back up, and so the pumps are your muscles. And when the veins become too large and one-way check valves have failed, now all the pumping doesn't work and the blood pools in the legs. It creates high pressure, which results in bulging enlarged veins that we call varicose veins. My dermatologist recommended Dr. Morgan and he was very forthcoming with information. Um, it wasn't a lot of extraneous things that I didn't understand. It was very to the point. 
um, you know, exactly what he could do for me and um, what the benefits, what the side effects, and it gave me an opportunity to um, just weigh the pros and cons of whether I wanted to go, go forward. The treatment is to close all the veins that are running backwards. Any vein that is not pumping up out of the leg is only hurting, it doesn't help, and so by removing or closing those veins, you restore the circulation out of the legs back to normal. The procedure itself probably took 30 to 45 minutes. I was able to get up off the procedure table right afterwards and walk. I did have improvement in uh, cosmetically, which is a wonderful side benefit, but I also have decreased swelling, decreased aching. Really, it's, it's very minimal. She got a great result. Her swelling has uh, gone away completely. Her pain has gone away completely, and her varicose veins have gone away completely as well. Best Stocks Network doctor and official eye doctor to the Dallas Cowboys, Dr. Harvey Carter, the expert for all your vision needs. See the world differently in only a day. Specializing in LASIK, cataracts, and crystal lens. Visit Dr. Carter today for the ultimate eye experience. Call now and receive $2,000 off your LASIK procedure. When seeing is believing. Dr. Harvey Carter, the official eye doctor to the Dallas Cowboys. In my 20s and early 30s, I had six years of fertility treatments before I was able to conceive, followed by uterine cancer when my son was 18 months old. Both of those caused me to gain a great deal of weight, and I put it off and put it off and put it off, not thinking that insurance would ever cover the surgery. And then I went to see Dr. Frenzel, found out that it would be covered by insurance, had the surgery, have lost all of the weight, and I'm going on three years post-op now, and it has been wonderful. We got Stacy approved. Let us do the same for you. Call now and begin your transformation. Hello everyone, we're in the studio today with one of the top facial plastic surgeons in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's Dr. Yadro Duchik. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So you're double board certified. Tell me a little bit about what other areas you specialize in. Uh, well, I do a, a fair amount of uh, reconstructive surgery as well. So we deal with a lot of uh, uh, facial trauma patients, head and neck cancer patients, skin cancer patients. Uh, and it's a lot of those folks here, you're removing parts of her face and, and then reconstructing and rebuilding them. Um, and it really kind of um, flows nicely into cosmetic surgery because it's a, you're doing similar sort of things. It's all about making people uh, feel better about their appearance and function better. So tell me, Dr. Duchik, you have a unique philosophy and tell me what your goal is with, with patients. Well, well, I hope it's not too unique. I'd hope that most facial plastic and plastic surgeons felt the same way, but you know, by the time a patient comes to see you, for whatever the problem is, whether it's a crooked nose, a mole on their chin, uh, a weak chin, a loosening of skin, um, whatever the issue is, they've thought about it for a long time. Um, they've looked in the mirror, they've critiqued themselves, um, sometimes they've even shed a few tears. And so the last thing we need to do is, is to make them feel more uncomfortable about other things. And so I think it's important to address what their concerns are, um, recommend procedures or surgeries if they're appropriate, um, and reassure them that they'll do fine even if they don't have anything done. Um, because the most important thing you want is for them to walk out of the office feeling good about themselves. And the most important thing we want after surgery or procedures is for our patients to feel good about themselves. The last thing we want is to create more anxiety um, by pointing out other flaws, which all of us have. That's what makes us human. To see the rest of this interview, as well as other outstanding videos, head to BestStocksNetwork.com. Meningitis can be a bad disease. There's three or four different kinds. The main kind is viral meningitis. That's relatively mild. 
and doesn't really harm people, it just makes them sick for a while. Bacterial meningitis can be very bad. That's the one that can make you very, very sick, wind you up in the hospital, and can even kill you. There's also things like fungal meningitis. This is the one that we recently heard about with the contaminated steroid shots. How do you tell if you have meningitis? Well, you have to be pretty sick to have meningitis. For example, your fever is usually pretty high, not low. Generally, you have a headache, usually described as the worst headache of your life. If you have a mild to moderate headache, that's one thing. If you have the worst headache that you've ever had in your life, then you've got to think meningitis. Also, you may have a rash, you may have a stiff neck, and generally people with meningitis just look horrible. So if you have a little bit of a headache and a little bit of a fever and feel a little bit horrible, that may just be a regular old virus. If it's real bad on the headache side and real bad on the fever side, then you've got to think about meningitis and obviously you should see your physician. Being a cosmetic dentist, it really affected me as I was looking inside the patient's mouth, I wasn't able to breathe, which made me tired and gave me a headache. Uh, and it really affected me being able to work on patients. He wasn't able to breathe out of his nose for the past 20 years. He, he has this nagging problem of post-nasal drip, congestion, and uh, facial pressure. The Cassavary has tried everything, and he is frustrated with the uh, circle of uh, antibiotics and medication. He consulted me because he wants a permanent solution to his problem. My first impression of Dr. Wynn was wow, amazing. Uh, he brought me back, he, he showed me uh, the problem. Uh, he actually diagnosed me having a deviated septum, which means my nose is kind of crooked upside in, in there. And, but I really liked how it was very personable and I didn't feel as though a number. It was really great. Dr. Cassaberry is an appropriate candidate for in-office balloon sinus dilation. Balloon sinus dilation is an FDA-approved procedure that uses a small balloon to open obstructed sinus drainage pathway, similar to the procedure used to unplug uh, arteries that we call angioplasty. The whole procedure was great. Uh, I, I came there that morning. Uh, he did the procedure and uh, most, the most thing I felt was just, just a little pressure inside the nose. Very, very comfortable and actually I came back to work the next day. The number one reason that patients come to see me is because they can't breathe through their nose. Most of the time there is a simple solution for that. It's either a small in-office procedure or a minor surgery that can solve their problem. Medicine has advanced so much that there's always a solution to breathe well and live well. After the surgery, uh, I, I was breathing and I heard a lot of noise. So I called Dr. Wynn and said, Dr. Wynn, something's wrong. He said, I said, every time I breathe, I hear noise. He said, he, he kind of laughed. He said, you know, Derek, you're breathing. You, you have space to breathe now. That's just the air going in that you never heard before. And so I was like, whoa, okay, great. It just really changed my whole life uh, while working on patients. Uh, I don't have the clogged nose and uh, glad I did it. Very glad I did it. Do you have missing teeth, need crowns, veneers, partials, dentures, or a full mouth reconstruction? Prostodontist Dr. David McFadden will give you back the youthful appearance and confidence you deserve. Backed by credibility and credentials, Dr. McFadden is cosmetically changing his patients' lives one smile at a time. Call today or log on to DignityDental.com. Dr. David McFadden, your go-to dentist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. As a state-of-the-art medical facility, Forest Park Medical Center is unrivaled. So, naturally, it's where the finest physicians in North Texas want to work. And because of the extraordinary level of comfort and care provided to our patients, Forest Park Medical Center is where they prefer to come to. We're just happy we could bring them together. Come experience for yourself what medical care was meant to be. Forest Park Medical Center, your destination to better health. Coming up on the second half of today's show, cosmetic surgeon Dr. Michael Thornton talks about the process involved for an overall cosmetic revision. Oral surgeon Dr. Paul Metz reconstructs his patient's jaw. Bariatric surgeon Dr. Scott Stowers with My Bariatric Solutions helps his patient lose weight. 
Learn more about the outstanding medical facility, Houston Northwest Medical Center. The ideal patients for dental implants are ones that have been through lots of restorative procedures and there were these procedures that just aren't predictable and so we were able to give them their third set of teeth with the use of, of dental implants. I had an accident when I was 10 years old and I fell down on my face and I dislocated my jaw and I didn't know that then but I started looking for oldest doctor or the one with 35 years or more of experience. So I went to the facility in Gessner and I saw Dr. Metz and they said this is the guy who's gonna have to be working on you. So I had to decide if I wanted to go through with it and I did research. He graduated top in the class. So in Tico we were able to move his upper jaw forward and set his lower jaw back so as to help line up his skeleton so that his teeth meshed together well. We as specialists in oral surgery are uniquely qualified uh, to provide these procedures. I just figured out this is the best facility, this is the best doctor, and I truly believe that, you know, Dr. Metz and his team, they know what they're doing. These patients, when we know when they come down the hallway, when we see them after this procedure, we see their level of confidence has gone up tremendously. We can tell by the smile on their face as well as their dress. They're dressed sharply and they're holding their chin up. You can certainly tell that uh, they are happier individuals afterwards. Technology today has you know, really revolutionized how we practice implant dentistry. We have uh, cone beam CTs which allow us to take a CT of the patient in the office uh, and in, in about 20 seconds we have 360 degrees of bone around uh, the implant. So we know ahead of time whether we need to graft and also the type of grafting that we need to do ahead of time. So patients are, are, are better prepared for the, uh, the experience and know more of what to expect afterwards. We are able to do this in, in, uh, in a safer fashion. Uh, and it's much more rapid. The procedures are much more rapid uh, and the recovery is much easier as well. Deep breathing can help you relax, but that dose of oxygen will also make you feel happier and more alert. Practice this by taking deep breaths, sucking air in through your nose until your lungs are full. had augmentation done that went wrong. It was really, really bad. And I was a fitness instructor and I've been teaching for a really long time. And I stopped because I was so cognizant of the humongous size that I had become, which is fine for those who go to get it. That's fine, but if it's not me, it's really messing with my psyche. Janet came to see me uh, because she needed some uh, revisional cosmetic surgery. She had um, a particular breast deformity where it's called capsular contraction which is basically the breast are turning hard around the breast implants. And uh, her breast implants were basically stuck all the way up, way up inside her chest and it, she had a lot of cleavage and it looked very unnatural. And I said, I can't, I can't continue this, Dr. I really didn't want to go under the knife again, but I think I have to because I can't continue to live like this. And his suggestion was, Janet, let's get rid of everything. Let's get you healed. Let your skin retract. And then, after a few months of that, let's go back in and do what you originally wanted done. I had to do a couple of staged procedures for her because it's hard to do everything at once and it's safer that way. If you try to rush surgery, especially revisional surgery, you can have problems. And what I had to do is I had to first take out her implants. I had to do an explantation, okay? So that was the first stage. And do a mastopexy. So basically, we took her breast and uh, took them back to normal. After a series of several months later when she healed up, I came back and I re-implanted some new implants, put them into a different place, and I did a tummy tuck on her and some liposuction. So it really made her look really good and she is really happy today. It's, it's, a, it's a huge change and a huge difference. You can just tell that her, her overall personality has improved significantly. It's been incredible since then. My life completely changed. I'm happy. I'm actually more confident, I think, than I've ever been because I am the way I am. I'm out and I'm actually thinking about going back into fitness. Dr. Thornton's changed my life significantly and every time I see him, I tell him that. You're like 
my savior, you changed me. I am this happy 46 year old woman that I owe him a lot. age of 25, about 15 years ago, I was diagnosed with um, high blood pressure. And with that high blood pressure came three medications. I had a family history of heart disease and had seen a cardiologist since I was 10. I uh, had, you know, just a lot of weight gain with having two children. My grandmother uh, had both legs amputated with diabetes. Then my father has diabetes and, you know, just the family history. Yeah, Lisa uh, is an example of one of our patients that came to see me for the typical problems of uh, inability to lose a significant amount of weight that would affect her health. Several different doctors for 15, 20 years had been saying that, you know, if you could lose 70 pounds and keep it off, you would get rid of the high blood pressure there is a huge possibility that you will not be diabetic, that even your heart condition would be um, just almost completely resolved, um, and you could even get off of all of the medications. So I chose the gastric sleeve procedure, which for me was just the best choice. For a sleeve patient, they typically need to be at least 70 pounds overweight. Sleeve is a relatively new procedure that we do where we take out about 80% of the stomach. The whole concept of the surgery is just restrictive in nature, where they essentially are on a low calorie diet for the rest of their life, but they're not hungry all the time. I came in, I met with the actual surgeon. I actually sat down with Dr. Stowers and he was amazing. Somebody who just totally makes you feel comfortable. Uh, he answered every question. He was very honest with me and reassuring it was just beyond belief uh, that he was able to make me feel so comfortable. At one week post-op, I was literally off of all of my medications. It had already made that big of a difference. Within a year, she lost about 80 pounds. I've reached my goal weight. Um, it's been great going from a size 1820 and an extra large shirt to a size 810 and a medium shirt. I never thought I'd see that again, so it's been really exciting. Diana has a question for Dr. Yadro Duchik. Is it possible to do chin implants at the same time as rhinoplasty? Uh, yes, it is, and, and in some patients, it's actually a great idea. Uh, you know, from the front, if somebody has a weak chin, there's really not a lot that you can notice, but it's in profile that you really can notice it. Uh, one thing that's very important is facial balance and facial proportion. And when we look in profile, a nose will always look more prominent. In other words, it'll look like somebody has a bigger nose than what they'd ideally like if their chin is very weak. And by balancing out the facial profile, putting a small little chin implant, usually we just put it through the inside of the mouth so there's no scarring, um, we can actually make the appearance of the nose seem to be smaller. Do you have missing teeth, need crowns, veneers, partials, dentures, or a full mouth reconstruction? Prostodontist Dr. David McFadden will give you back the youthful appearance and confidence you deserve. Backed by credibility and credentials, Dr. McFadden is cosmetically changing his patients' lives one smile at a time. Call today or log on to DignityDental.com. Dr. David McFadden, your go-to dentist in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. I didn't feel good about myself and I never wanted to go anywhere. Now my world has opened up. I occasionally go out with my girlfriends and we have a great time together. I was getting older and didn't really care about my weight, but my doctor said I needed to do something immediately. Now I'm spending time with my grandchildren and every moment seems special. My one reason was to live life again. My one reason was to simply live. So what's your one reason? Barker Bariatric Center. Log on or call today for your consultation. 
best stocks network doctor and official eye doctor to the dallas cowboys dr harvey carter the expert for all your vision needs see the world differently in only a day specializing in lasik cataracts and crystal lens visit dr carter today for the ultimate eye experience call now and receive two thousand off your lasik procedure when seeing is believing Dr. Harvey Carter, the official eye doctor to the Dallas Cowboys. At Houston Northwest Medical Center, our story began 40 years ago when a group of doctors took the risk of building a hospital in the middle of a cow pasture that was at the northwest side of Houston. As a result of their vision, and the quality that they provided, the hospital quickly grew into a regional healthcare provider serving not just the immediate area, but really all of North Houston. When I joined the hospital 23 years ago, the things that stood out were, number one, the facility itself. The facility was second to none with respect to the services it provided. Houston Northwest Medical Center is well known for the high quality care it's given since it's been opened. Since the first cardiac procedure in 1984, the hospital has continued to grow. We do every kind of surgery, from the small to the large. We do from toenails to open heart. We have a very large bariatric program. We did about 500 cases last year. As the years have gone on, we have been known for cardiovascular surgery. For cardiology procedures, we have a beautiful cardiac cath laboratory. Our OB department has just grown through the years. Here at Houston Northwest, we have a lot to be proud of, not only in the quality of services we provide, but in the scope of services we provide. We are the third largest ER provider in the greater Houston area, and we're the largest outside of the medical center downtown. The attention to detail is phenomenal, from the top all the way down to the bottom. We care at every aspect, whether it's quality, compassion, patient satisfaction, and we don't stop till we make sure that our patients are taken care of. We have excellent staff, excellent doctors. Our nurses have all gone to do advanced certifications. The nursing staff here are experienced from one year to 40 years in terms of providing women's services care. So we pride ourselves on family-centered care. In the past 23 years since I've been a physician at Houston Northwest, the hospital has grown with the community. And we continue to perform well with respect to quality, and it's a reflection of not only the physician's care, but also the nursing care in the hospital. Our facility strives to be a leader in technology, which means that we want to be innovative and we want to provide the best care to our patients. That means the fastest care and getting you the service that you need. I'm really proud to be a part of Houston Northwest Medical Center and I know in the future that we'll continue to keep up with the highest, most innovative care. I'm very excited to see what the future will hold. I know that for this hospital, we're ever evolving and improving. Where we're headed at Houston Northwest, I think is as exciting as where we've been. First and foremost, we're gonna to continue to provide the highest quality of care that we can possibly provide. At Houston Northwest Medical Center, our story is your story. At Houston Northwest Medical Center, your story lives on. Find the doctor you're looking for on today's episode? Head to our website, bestdocsnetwork.com. There you can search our video library by topic, specialty, and doctor. The Best Docs Network, helping you find the right doctor and bringing medical education to you.